Hello and welcome to another demonstration of FPS Creator Reloaded. Um, in this one I've tried to make a reasonably big scene, keeping the graphics reasonably high. I'll just flip to it so you can see what I've set. Um, you can see I've knocked the um, LOD down as low as I really dare. Um, you get a few glitches occasionally but you know I can live with that for now to keep performance up. Knocked all that lot down. Um, shader options, I can't live with lowering these particularly. If you want to look decent, you can't do it. If you just want to test for speed purposes, fair enough. Um, grass shader doesn't make any difference because I've not put any grass on. Because again, performance issues. It's, with a big scene like this, you don't want to try and fill it with grass. It's it's not there yet, they need to work on that. Um, and you know, I've just uh, adjusted that to get it looking nice for the scene. So you can see I'm, I'm getting 16 frames per second. It's not massive, but it's a big scene. So I'm going to take you through my little medieval world. Look at that nice glinting light. Yes, it's it's still pretty. I, I like it. And you've got to remember, I've still I'm still struggling with just a my old system GTX 260. Fair enough. It should run stuff really nicely. It's not that bad a card, it's a pretty good card really, even though it's getting on. But yeah, it's still not too bad, I've got a reasonably big scene here, so I'm going through the uh, the countryside. A little bit bare in places, but what can you do? Got it almost, well I could probably fill it with a few more things, but to be honest, you can see I've got a bit of a town in front of me. And I am struggling a bit, but I've made it look as nice as possible. That's looking lovely. Well, fairly lovely. Not perfect, but you know, looking nice. And yeah, we're getting up to the old town. If only I could have some knights running around. The characters at the moment are a little bit Middle East orientated, and that's not what I'm interested in. I'm not quite certain why that's you know everything is Middle East looking and fair enough it's nice to have a, a theme but to me I don't want to play a game like that that just makes me think of the first person shooters I can't even think of the name Battlefront or something and it just sets it in the Middle East and it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's been quite a few now we're all bored of them yeah can't complain really about the media with it, but you know, this is all media I've bought in the past, so it's it's given me a bit more freedom and to make something that looks a little bit nicer, a little bit different, a bit more ye olde England. That's what I'm after. Look at this. It's looking really stunning in places. Yep, nice castle. Nice castle, it's struggling a little bit. As you can see, but yeah, not too bad. I'm quite impressed. This is with the new 1 hour 4 update. And I haven't done anything with any of the textures to these models. So I'm assuming they've got no normal maps or anything like that. If it was all normal maps, it'd look even nicer. Don't know how it'd run. And I really should have put a, a city together in the Roman pack because I've gone through all the Roman pack and put normal textures on everything. But um, the city I started designing for that was just slowing down too much. But uh, it's working nicely now with this update. In fact, I might even be able to reload that and have a try again. But so far, I've resisted the temptation of trying to get through all these models. And make normal maps for them because pff, that's a big job. As you can see, well, it's looking quite towny. Eh? Quite nice. Bit of town. Fair enough, it's not huge. It's not GTA. It's not never likely to be GTA, but you know, there's, there's, there's side streets. And fair enough. I'm a bit limited on the buildings. And there'll be the end of the town. It's a small town. There we go. Illusion and effect. It looks quite good, quite well populated in the main. I'm fairly happy with it. 
I'm going to keep filling it out as and when. Of course, when the next update comes out, I'll probably have to delete it and start all over, but there we go. Unfortunately, that is the nature of a beta. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It looks quite nice. Quite a nice little town. Looks like it could be a little bit bigger. But I'm just going a bit at a time, and I really am sort of hitting the edge of where I can keep it looking pretty and walk around at a reasonable rate that you would you know, semi expecting a game, say an adventure game or something, you, you could almost live with this. You could almost live with it. In action, I'm not so sure. You know. But like they say, they are still working on it. They're gonna get better. And yeah, at the moment it's looking nice. And we're going at 19 frames per second. But I mean like say if I just go Okay, lowest. Eee, yak. Um, lowest. Yak. Yak, yak. It's suddenly bright and just two thousands again. We're back to the year two thousand. I mean, this isn't even morrowing quality when you put it like this. It's just like, oh. Ooh. It looks okay, and in fact, these buildings in a way look better because that was never designed for reloading, and they do look a bit strange. Yeah, and that, that looks quite nice. What's the FPS we're getting? I'm, I'm getting up to 24 now, which is the limit when I'm recording. So you can see, oh, you get some serious boost when you knock the, the options down. And obviously, I've still got shadows on, knock the shadows off, knock the light rays off. Bloom off. There we go. We're at ultimately low detail now. Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, you know, I'm being a bit harsh when I say it was terrible, but it does sort of take me back in time. Um, but it runs nice, and we're definitely hitting 24 frames per second easily now. So a bit of optimization, optimization, and you know, it's getting there. It's getting there. Bit of work. It's gonna get there. I'm sure that can improve these low level shaders a bit. So we've got some sort of semblance of light and dark on it, you know, it's mm, I'm, I'm sure there's something can be done. But yeah, I'm quite happy with it. And it's my little medieval village. I think you've seen enough, well you've seen about everything. You see the draw distance is pretty good and I've knocked the draw distance down to 25. That's that's a fair amount. And you, you can't tell. You just can't tell. Even on a map this big where you've got the distance stretching off all the way. All the way down there. It helps when you've got fair enough objects to hide things. You know that you can see right in the distance the trees, that's the trees where I started. And that's the uh, the final product. Yeah. Well, the more I look at it, the more I like it, even on this level. Yeah, so yeah, until next time, I'll catch you later.